when we look at the issue of uh, degenerative neurologic disorders of unknown cause, we're confronted with a significant problem because if we don't know the cause, we don't know how to prevent. Um, if on the other hand, we begin to see associations between uh, certain circumstances, such as um, the work that was done by uh, Bob Crago and myself back in uh, the early 2000s that we published in the lead article of the uh, August 2003 Archives of Environmental Medicine, um, in which we demonstrated that um, if you take into account factors of exposure, such as the number of hours on average spent in a water damaged building with confirmed mold amplification, the number of days from the time of the discovery of a water intrusion incident and the evacuation of that space, the total colony forming unit count or spore count for the space uh, averaging all testing, whether it was testing ordered by the, you know plaintiff's counsel or defense or independent, or when we looked at the peak highest concentrations, uh, and in addition, you know, doing a multivariate analysis also factored in the presence or absence of Stachybotrys as a specific species. Um, we were able to demonstrate that there were um, ten measurements of cognitive function that declined in direct proportion to the dose of exposure by all of those factors being looked at simultaneously. And we were also able to confirm that these declines, though they varied in the amount that we could attribute to each of the um, various causes, uh, were statistically significant, meaning that the probability of that relationship of the decline in association with the exposure levels being just a random fluke occurrence uh, was less than five in a hundred. And in fact, in a number of the cases, it was at a level of less than, you know, one in 10,000 chances that this was just a random fluke. So if you see that kind of data, and you recognize that people's symptoms and complaints of confusion, spaciness, inability to concentrate, uh, failing to remember things, having problems making uh, sentences because they can't find words, uh, experiencing balance disorder, and other issues that are clearly Susan, related please, to Susan, clearly related to the function of their central nervous system. Um, and that this corresponds with what we're seeing when we do standard neuropsych type testing. Um, and it again correlates to the dose of exposure. That's enough for me to know that I have to counsel patients that they need to avoid those exposures. That they can't just ignore the fact that in, according to the EPA data that was published again around 2000, out of the 55,000 schools in this country, 20% of them are infested with molds. That, you know, is, is unacceptable to expose our youth to levels of mold that are excessive uh, with toxins that are known to be neurotoxins in the face of 17% of our youth suffering from learning impairments, you know, and developmental delays is simply wrong and demands attention, demands concerted effort at figuring out aggressively is there a relationship or not. Because if there is, then we shouldn't continue those circumstances. We shouldn't allow them to continue to exist. We need to remediate. And the notion that 7,000 of those schools had stachybotrys, which is never supposed to be present in a space indoors that are occupied by humans, is similarly unconscionable.